What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J and in today's video I'm doing an overview of house laboratories which you guys already know is Lady Gaga's brand so I'm excited to jump into the details so let's get right into it. So I feel like I ordered this stuff a million years ago. I actually placed my order back in July. Here it is October and I finally got my stuff about a week or so ago and so I have been itching to do this video but you guys know it's been so many things coming out but I'm finally getting around to doing it today so I'm excited to be testing these things out and she came out with a line of things. It's a very edited line, but she came out with a good amount of things and I picked up three of her sets, which she calls her collections. So if you all don't know, her brand is sold exclusively on Amazon.com, so you are not able to go in store and touch it. I've been knowing about this line for about a year. Lady Gaga kind of teased it in her Vogue 73 questions that she did last year. Those are super popular on YouTube if you've never seen them. They have different celebrities and they ask them 73 questions really fast and she sneaked in an answer. You know they always want you to know but they don't want to say too much, but she said that she was coming out with the makeup line and I was like oh my god Lady Gaga is coming out with the makeup line and you all know Lady Gaga has always been very different she marches to the beat of her own drum that's because Lady Gaga came through and shook up the early 2010s like she totally changed the landscape of music and fashion and she always has been herself the lady wore a meat dress for crying out loud. Like Lady Gaga has always pushed the limits and she's always just been different. I'll read you guys a little bit of the description. It says, they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but at house laboratories, we say beauty is how you see yourself. We want you to love yourself and it is our mission to spread kindness bravery and creativity by providing tools for self-expression and reinvention. This is your glam, your expression, your artistry. This is our house, your rules. I picked up three of the collections and the collections are little kits that are filled with two lip products and one eye product. If you purchase a collection, this is what it comes packaged in. It says house, it has like this really cool design. It's a plastic little bag, a keepsake bag. You can keep your products in it or if not, you can just keep it. So the three collections that I purchased are a house of rose bitch. Yes, it says bitch. But I'm not trying to get demonetized, so I'm gonna censor myself. And then I purchased house of chained ballerina. And lastly, I purchased House of Goddess. I love the names and how they're different houses because it's giving an homage to the ballroom scene, so I really love that. The other three that I did not purchase are the House of Dynasty, the House of Metalhead, and the House of Rockstar. Each set costs $49. You don't have to commit to purchasing an entire set. The products are sold individually in case you don't want to get whatever it comes with. So if you purchase everything individually, the eyeshadow and the two lip products, it will cost you $54 as opposed to $49 so it's $5 more plus you won't get the pouch so it is a better deal to go ahead and get a collection especially if you like three of the pieces that are already in the collection. So there were two more things that came out that I did not purchase and I would have purchased this had I remembered. This one is the eye armor kit and this is a liquid eyeliner kit which includes a liquid eyeliner which is waterproof matte black and it has a felt tip and then it has two sizes of their undetectable armor wing tips so their stickers for eyeliner so I would have tried it just for the video but I forgot about it when I was placing my order and then they also came out with like a little mask this is called the face mask armor sticker and it's just a sticker I probably wouldn't have purchased this if I had thought about it but Lady Gaga does have it on in the promo picture and it looks cool for a picture but I really don't have anywhere to wear that to in real life so so each kit comes with one all over liquid shimmer powder which is essentially a liquid eyeshadow and the description for these says that it is a highly pigmented long wearing liquid eyeshadow that amplifies any look it's blendable buildable liquid to powder formula offers serious color payoff and shade shifting shimmer 
It says that it is weightless, smudge-proof, liquid-to-powder formula is easily layered on the eyes or blended anywhere that deserves the spotlight. Here's what they look like. So it has matte black packaging, but then at the bottom you can see the color, so it's a little bit more translucent down there. And then the top is really different. It has like a different geometric type design. So next, each kit comes with an RIP lip liner, and the description for these says that this is a creamy, demi-matte, highly pigmented lip liner that offers a weightless formula and skip free opaque application. RIP lip liner offers the precision of a lip liner with the versatility texture and comfort of a lipstick. And lastly each kit comes with a lip gloss. These are called the La Riot lip glosses and the description for these says that this is a multi-dimensional non-sticky formula that gives lips mirror-like shine with a range of finishes including shine, shimmer, pearl, and pure pigment. This comfortable gel gloss easily glides onto lips without a sticky feeling, leaving them looking smooth and full. So I'm supposed to have three different glosses. In my House of Change Ballerina set, they actually forgot to put my gloss in there and they gave me two of the liquid eyeshadows so I don't have that gloss to show you all. I'm going to contact Amazon and see like what's good with that. So I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to go ahead and insert the swatches of this collection and then following that I'm going to jump into the demonstration and you guys can see these products in action. And then you all already know at the end of the video I'll tell you all exactly what I think about these products and I actually am going to do a wear test and see how these products wear throughout the rest of the day. So, I hope that you all enjoy. Let me know if you all planned on getting any of this or if you have any of this, what are your thoughts regarding it? And I look forward to reading your comments. So, stay tuned. As you all can see, I already have a little bit of eye going on, just a little bit, like something like very neutral nude. I mean, like it's like you barely can even see it, right? You know? something casually like but let's go ahead and add on the all over liquid shimmers this is a flat shader brush it's a royal and lane nickel bom 416 so i'm taking chained ballerina and i'm gonna put that all over my lid and this one is like a charcoal -y black glitter impacted shade so let's go in with that so I'm not going to take this directly on the lid, which you can, but I want to be more precise with it. So I'm going to go product to brush and then put it on. So I have all this open space. That's where I want to put it. I'm not going to put it all the way over on the inner corner. I am going to take it up to the crease though. So let's just tap that on. It feels very, very wet. Let me tap that over here. It's not really opaque. I see... A little bit of patchiness here so I'm gonna let it dry down just a little bit and then go on top of it again okay hold on cuz this just transferred up up my lid so it hasn't really dried down and still has that slickness to it all right it blends out really easy and that's because it's pretty liquidy it dried down just a little bit but it still is very fluid in how it feels so it's definitely not something that's going to be completely matte but once it dries down and you sort of go over it a little bit more, the glitter becomes more pronounced. It blended out to a very sparkly black glitter, which I love this color. I love wearing sparkly, glittery, smoky eyes. It's one of my favorite glams for the holiday season for sure. And I'm tapping it and I'm not getting any fallout, but I am getting a little bit of like a black powdery substance on my fingers. So a little bit is coming up. So I'm going to go into Glam Attack with a Royal and Lane Nickel BLM 50 brush. And I want to put that on my inner tear duct on the top. So I'm just going to tap just a little bit because I don't want a lot. That was Aphrodite. Now on the lower inner corner, I'm going to go into Rose Bitch. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this on the brush, same deal, and pop that on the lower inner corner. And I mean take the tiniest amount, just lightly tap it. Because if you put too much, it's going to run everywhere. So a little bit goes a long way. So let's try on these lip combinations. So the first lip liner that I'm trying on is Drag with the Lip Gloss Entranced. Okay. The lip liner is very creamy.
Now I'm going to put in Trans Dawn in the middle. Okay. So the gloss is just a little bit thicker, which I like because I prefer a thicker gloss. It's not super thick to where it feels gloopy or anything, but it definitely is not a thin lip gloss by any means. This one has a little bit of a shimmer to it. It looks almost like an icy pearlescent color, but on the lips it goes on a lot more sheer. It's almost clear with a little bit of shimmer in it. So you can wear this with pretty much any lip liner and change the color up. But overall, I think it's a pretty decent lip combination. It's not blowing my mind or anything like that, but it looks okay. Now I'm going to put on Myth Lip Liner with Venus Lip Gloss. I like this color a lot more. It's like a my lips but better type color. Now let's go in with the gloss. I really like this color combo. This is the last lip combination that I have to try on because like I said, the lip combination in the Chained Ballerina set only came with the lip liner. That probably would have been the one that I wore, but since I don't have that gloss, yeah. Now that you guys have seen the demo, now I want to talk about my thoughts regarding this launch. Whenever I first heard that Lady Gaga was coming out with the line, which is when she did her Vogue 73 questions, and she briefly mentioned that she was coming out with the makeup line, I just automatically associated her and her likeness with something a little bit more high end. This really isn't what I thought that she would come out with. So then when I heard that it would be sold exclusively on Amazon, I was like, so what is her creative direction looking like? Because I know that Lady Gaga is a very extra person. And so I still was thinking that maybe she was going to come out with something that was just super editorial and other brands and other stores may not get her vision. So I was like, maybe Amazon gave her complete creative control. And that's why she went that avenue. Because I know a lot of people don't like to think about where the makeup comes from, but pretty much all makeup comes from a warehouse. And so whenever we see it, in the store we see it with the pretty display but before it got to that point it was in a warehouse and so I was like maybe she just didn't want to deal with that fluff and you know having the expectations of having to come out with products by a certain time because you know if you go into Sephora or, or Ulta they have expectations for you all to pop out those products and so I was like maybe with her going to Amazon they're a little bit more lax with their expectations especially since nobody has done that before so I was really still curious about what was going on and then I saw the promo pictures and I was like hmm. but I like to keep an open mind and try things out for myself first before I write something off and then I got it and I was like this just didn't what I want I feel that this packaging just doesn't scream Lady Gaga or what I would expect from Lady Gaga because it really doesn't have the quality that I'm looking for I wanted Lady Gaga's line to have stuff that I would consider display pieces so like not only is it makeup but it's like a work of art and that's not really what I got here to me this seems like a step above drugstore so I was a bit let down regarding the packaging but then looking at at the actual quality of the product so take away the packaging how does the formula perform and first talking about the liquid eyeshadows I feel that they're very very wet like when you first apply them it's going to feel very cool on the eyelids and then you blend it out and it does get a little bit drier as you go along but it does not completely dry down matte. So the base color does transfer a lot. I did not get any fallout from the glitter, but if you take your finger and rub your eyelid, you are gonna get a little bit of that product on your finger. The closest products that I can think of that would be similar would be like the Stila Glitter and Glow products, where a lot of them have a base color, but then also they have glitter suspended within that base color. And once you apply those, they don't move, so they totally dry down. It's all about how it applies 
size and how it wears. So how is this going to wear throughout the day? That's the key question. I am going to keep wearing these around for the rest of the day. It is pretty late now that I've finished the video, but I am still going to be up for a few more hours. So I am going to continue to test it out. But just based on my initial application of it, I did feel like this was a little bit harder to use simply because I know how messy it can get, especially if you are somebody who has texture eyelids. This is so liquidy, it's just going to settle into the wrinkles. Or if you're a person who has hooded eyes, this is so liquidy that it's going to transfer up. And that is something that I dealt with in my eye look. But because of how I structured my eye look today, I was okay with it looking a little bit messier because I was going for a messier grunge look. And I think it looks pretty cool, but just know the glitter is going to continue to transfer and evolve and it's not going to be set once it dries down. And it takes a good amount of time for it to dry down to the amount that it did dry down to so there is a big learning curve to these products you do have to go in with a little bit the less you go in with the better and then the more that you blend it out the more prominent the glitter is and then remember that it is not going to stay there you can go in with some glitter glue underneath it to try to help it stay a little bit better but going in with it by itself is definitely not transfer proof which is a claim that she makes on the website she says that it is everything proof meaning that it will be transfer proof and possibly waterproof and I don't think that it's waterproof because it's definitely not even transfer proof but I will continue to wear them around to see how it works and see how it wears you guys know I have very sensitive eyes and with me I tear up a lot especially the sleepier that I get my eyes get very very watery so I'll see how that goes I already have a little bit of a tear here and I do see a little patch of product missing right on my inner tear ducts on the right side let's see how it looks at the end of the night to see exactly how much stays and how much goes as far as the rest of the products I do feel like the lip products are better than the eye products I enjoyed using the lip liners that I did use the lip liners felt very nice they were creamy they glided on but they didn't move around too much to where it was bleeding on my lips so I did enjoy that and I do like the lip glosses I like the formula of them because they are a little bit thicker and I know that it's not going to be everybody's tea, but just know that these are among some of the thicker glosses that have come out here recently. Like I said, I'm going to continue to wear these products around. I may put on my glasses because it is getting late and you know at night your girl cannot see as well as she used to be able to. But I will check back in and let you guys see the update of how everything wore throughout the hours. So stay tuned. So I told you all I was going to put on the glasses and I did. So I'm going to lift them up on the count of three. You all are going to see the indents on my face. One, two, okay. So let's talk about how this eye makeup held up throughout the day. So I've had it on for seven hours. I've been doing a lot of stuff around the house. I've been blinking. You all see my makeup looks very dewy right now. So it is very well worn. It didn't really transfer anywhere like I was expecting it to, but it did fade away just a touch. I do see a little bit of patchiness on my lid as to where the eyeshadow isn't completely opaque. It did wear down from me wearing it these seven hours. But overall, I think it looks okay. It's nothing to write home about, I will say that. But there are other products on the market that can offer a similar result that are a little bit more budge proof than this one is. But if you have the time, or if you're a fan of Lady Gaga, I mean, it's not a bad product, but by no means is it the best liquid eyeshadow that I've ever tried. It is a watery product. It is a little bit of a learning curve. Like I mentioned, a little bit goes a long way and expect to have more so of a glitter eyeshadow than you do a base color eyeshadow because the base color is there, but the base color is what's going to transfer the most and it's going to fade the most. The glitter in my experience did not do that. I don't feel like I have specks of glitter all over my face, but the effect of it is pretty. I like the way that my eyes look, but just no getting there. It is going to take a lighter hand than you typically are used to going in with, especially nowadays. We all get so heavy handed with our makeup, myself included. So there's that. As far as the lip products, they wear like a typical lip gloss would. Whenever I ate, it came off and then I just took the rest off. I don't expect too much longevity from lip glosses in general. So I wasn't disappointed by that at 
at all. Like I said, I do like the lip glosses, but only get the lip glosses if you like a thick gloss. So that's my opinions on it. Take it or leave it. I'm really not here for it. I'm not against it. It's just okay to me. It's not necessarily what I was expecting from Lady Gaga, but I've been talking with half my makeup off. I'm about to go wash my face and go to bed. Joseph. So, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you all think about House Laboratories down in the comments section. And I will check you all later. It's 2 a.m. Your girl is too tired, too sleepy, and I'm too done. Smooches. Bye.